Hello YouTube, this is Heston83. I am a geologist who works a lot of times with uh, dinosaur bones. I go on a month-long dig every year to... Why in the world would a geologist be working with fossils? It's wrong field entirely. Also, judging by your video, it is clear you are not a geologist. So, please, if you would, tell us what university you went to to study geology, what was your PhD in, who was your thesis advisor, and what was your thesis about? That would be a good start to uh, share your credentials, otherwise we'll just dismiss you as the obvious creationist that you are. To find out, to try to find out the truth about what, what is going on with these animals. The truth? Why are you talking like a creationist? Science does not do the truth. Science does knowledge. It does not do truth. Is creationists speak when they uh, say truth this and truth that? You sure as hell aren't sounding like a geologist, pal. Uh, what we're finding actually contradicts what uh, Dawkins says in this video. If you find anything that contradicts observationally what Dawkins has said, I suggest you contact Dawkins and correct him. You know, a scientist would do that. A scientist, a geologist, would talk to Dawkins, well, even though Dawkins is a biologist and not a geologist. He certainly isn't a paleontologist. Or a scientist or a geologist would write a paper and submit it to a peer-reviewed refereed journal. You know what a creationist would do? A creationist would make a YouTube video. And it's very interesting to see uh, in, out in Utah, for example, there is a, a, a sandstone deposit that's several hundred feet thick. Typically, Yes, and under that layer of sandstone you have limestone because that area used to be under a vast ocean for millions and millions of years. Then the land rose, sand dunes came blowing in for a few million years, packed all that sand down, and then the land subducted again, or lowered. Ocean came rushing back and another layer of limestone formed over another few hundred million years. And then the land rose again, oh, and by the way, there used to be coral also. And then we get another layer of land, limestone, and then we've got all sorts of uh, shallow sea deposits all over hundreds and hundreds of millions of years. A geologist would know this, a creationist would not. And uh, supposedly, according to geologists that have been there before me, it took millions of years for this deposit to be accumulated. But that's interesting because all the way through this deposit it has dewatering structures. Erosion genius is called erosion. <sighs> Good fucking grief. You know, canyons, arroyos, washes, streams, runoff, you know, hydraulics. Have you heard of rain, maybe? This clown calls himself a geologist? Everybody would be really honest with themselves and go out and look at the deposits and see what is actually there. I don't think they would come to the conclusion that the earth is anywhere around billions of years old. Honest with themselves? Listen, genius. You're talking like a creationist. You're not talking like a educated human being. You don't get absolute dating on sandstone anyways. You get absolute dating through radio chronology, and it only gives you the date that the material that the sand later formed out of um, coalesced from the building of the planet itself. <sighs> the formation itself, the layering, may be only a few hundred million years old, and the material itself may be a couple billion years old. A geologist would know this! So obviously there are major problems within the evolutionist time frame. 
So obviously the major problem is you are an uneducated idiot and you have absolutely no idea what the fuck you were talking about. Also, there is no such thing as a evolutionist time frame. That makes absolutely no sense at all. There is no such thing as an evolutionist. Since you're talking geology, you should say a geological time frame, not an evolutionist time frame. That's just idiotic. Also, to get absolute dating, you talk to a physicist. You don't talk to a geologist. I'm not saying that the Earth is only 6,000 years old. I'm just saying that, obviously, there are flaws in both theories. Both theories? What both theories? There's atomic theory, and then there's what? Please, tell us. What is the other theory that you are talking about? Both theories? I think it's interesting that Dawkins in this film only chooses uh, to use one way to date his bones or the bones of this other universe that he's talking about. That being radiometric dating. And he chooses that. Oh, good bloody gods. Richard Dawson, Dawkins is a geologist! Dawkins did not date any fossils. <sighs> Even geologists do not date fossils or even geologic column layers, absolutely, they only date them relative. Biologists do not date fossils, they do not date geologic columns. Physicists do! As for radioisotope chronology, it is hyper accurate. If you have a problem with atomic theory, I suggest you write a paper and submit it to Physics Magazine, which is a refereed, peer-reviewed journal. Good fucking reef. Because he knows it's skewed. It's going to give a date that he uh, feels is proper. Obviously. Ah, oh, so it's a worldwide conspiracy. Oh, I didn't realize that. Very odd. You're sounding a lot like a creationist and not a, you know, sane person. <sighs> Physicists tell geologists and biologists and paleontologists how old something is. Biologists, such as Richard Dawkins, does not go, do not go and tell physicists how old something is. Good bloody grief. There are problems with radio, radiometric dating that he uh, skipped, and he skipped those on purpose. You don't know. Ah, more conspiracy. And why would Richard Dawkins want to use faulty data? Please explain that to us. Thank you. As for radioisotope chronology, it is hyper accurate, and we know what the problems are, and we have ways to get around the problems. <sighs> how much the parent isotope was in the bone whenever it was deposited. You don't know uh, if there's been any contamination since then. You have more creationist bullshit. We do not need to know the parent composite uh, amount of an isotope because we are looking at a ratio between one isotope and another isotope. Also, if the sample has been contaminated, it will not fall upon the linear line that is plotted when you plot isotope uh, decay rates. It'll fall off that line so you know immediately that the sample has been contaminated. <sighs> All of those can give skewed results. So They are only skewed results because you're an ignorant fucktard creationist who has absolutely zero education on the subject. Anyhow, we can put to rest your claim that you're not a creationist, and we can also put to rest your claim that you are a geologist. You are not. <laughs>